Yeah, welcome to the Hamburg Landesvertretung, to our representative, representative here um, in Berlin. Um, all the lender and states have a place here in Berlin to try to give a little influence on federal legislation and so forth. And we hope that with uh, today's, uh, this evening's event, we will give you an insight um, on the data questions we are currently dealing uh, with in this um, great project. project. Um, how we use digital data um, more effectively and in what fields has, has been of, air, of interest for us for, for, many, for many years and in different aspects. And as a city state, as we are in Hamburg, we have the possibility um, to uh, also be part of uh, federal legislation. Um, we can do our own legislation in certain aspects, but also um, as a city state, we can do real life. So we can try out things and we can see how it works. And, and one of the big questions in this area is how we can bring real life and regulations together, which is quite a task and not, not so easy. First of all, um, at the latest, um, during the corona pandemic, I was in charge of all the regulations we had to do in Hamburg and was part of all the federal conferences we had. And a lot of times we, we, we realized, oh, if we only had more data, if we only knew more. Um, but the data question is not just a crisis question, it's also a question, um, especially with running big cities where we come across uh, almost every day. We are, we are thinking about mobility. Uh, we are um, trying to monitor climate change issues. We would really much, uh, very much would like to know how are the actual current data we usually, usually we are depend on statistics that are sort of old or older. And so the question what we can do about uh, is of high importance to us. And at this moment, the, 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 we were very glad that the new institute was founded in Hamburg and came to us and said, we would like to uh, have a joint project on, on um, data, the use of, of data and data governance. Um, our project sounds very small. What we do is uh, we more or less monitor the use of a bicycle pathway on one of the famous streets of the world, the Reeperbahn, and we want to know how the bikes and the scooters use it. it sounds like a small project. And you might wonder why so many people come to hear about such a small project. The amazing thing is that even with such a small project, the regulatory and the questions we have to deal with are huge. Data protection, um, compliance questions, questions how did the businesses we work with together get their data. Um, it's all quite complicated, but we still, um, we, we, the, the good thing is, while working on the specific project, we find out about the structural questions we have and the leg legislative questions we have. That's why it's very good that at the same time, next to the small little project, where we have a challenge, and uh, we will hear about uh, that more later, um, we have the, the, the working group that's meeting here and is in sort of in session uh, tomorrow. Um, and they deal with all the regis uh, legislative and, and the, the, the fr legal framework and the regulatory framework. Um, and what our hope is that at the end we will have a blueprint which will work for different areas. And um, uh, we will hear, hear more from, from Max von Grafenstein about it um, because uh, it's, it's, German law can be very difficult and I think um, Francesca is already <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying, well, this is very German. <laughs> and that's true. That perhaps it's good that for Europe we try it out in Germany, because if it works in Germany, <laughs> there's a good chance that it will, that w that it will uh, work um, uh, in other areas uh, too. Uh, 
The main thing is we, we really we want to move ahead, and that's why we are very, very uh, grateful. Um, after all, the question of data use, of course, has, has always two sides to it. We, 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 do, we do want to make use of the data, but we also know that with all data, there's also, there are also risks, or we have to make sure that it's not misused. So to, to figure out this balance to enable things and uh, respect the regulations, but not kill good ideas through regula regulations. That's one of the main challenges w we currently have. Um, in the city of Hamburg, we are trying to have a very um, open and um, um, progressive approach towards, uh, towards data use. We have an open data platform uh, which we, which we uh, use a lot. Um, we try to work um, with public data. We have, for example, two days ago, we had a big workshop in, our, um, uh, in the um, Hafen City University um, where we had workshops on where can we put wind energy um, windmills. And we sort of, we have digital, we fly digitally over our city and we can really see the different areas and then we can see, oh, we have a problem with the aircrafts coming in or here we have a problem because there's a, an animal living that doesn't like the windmills and here's the streets and how, here are the different regulations. But due to the fact that we have this, this data open and shared, we can all look upon it, and it can also be a mean of, of, of participation and so forth. We have projects on digital twins, and um, that's why we are very interested, and that's why we're very happy to host this event here tonight. Thank you for coming, and I hope that after the session, we also will have some time to talk and uh, to be downstairs. So enjoy the evening, and I hand over to you, Francesca.